Well, good afternoon and bless the name of the Lord. It is good to come together and pray and call upon the name of the Lord. And as we uh, come together corporately, we're believing God for amazing and great things. And tonight, uh, we want to uh, pray specifically for a number of things. And um, I want to first um, take us to the word of the Lord, Isaiah 55, and we'll be reading verses 6 through to 11. Isaiah 55, verses 6 through to 11. As we, as we declare the word, as we prepare to pray, we're believing the Lord that as many of us have been praying um, constantly uh, every week and personally every day and uh, praying for our nation and praying for God to bring change. And um, we, we, want to, uh, we want to go to the word so that we can understand um, the promises of God when we pray and we declare his word. And so um, Isaiah uh, 55, starting from verse 6, the word of God declares, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his sword. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but waters the earth, and makes it bring forth bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. It shall prosper in the things for which I sent it. This is the word of the Lord. And just as a a word of encouragement to each of you as we pray tonight and as we have been declaring the word of the Lord, as, as we have been praying the word of the Lord, uh, what we always must remember is God's promise that, that once his word goes forth, it shall not return to him void, but will accomplish that which it was ordained to do it will do what it was sent to do and so with that promise as we pray and as we re as we uh, declare as we um, um, utter up our voices to the Lord and as we come into agreement we know that whatever we pray it shall come to pass we've seen some amazing things happen uh, oh man God's been doing some miraculous things over the past couple of months as we have been praying. And we've been able to tick it off and say, God, you did it then. Uh, we need to continue that uh, fervency, that consistency, that faithfulness. And especially um, for those of you, we've been talking about the fact that um, the importance of um, coming to the house of the Lord and the importance of the house of the Lord being the house of prayer that Jesus declared that how in the house of God, that when we come corporately, when we pray corporately, uh, there is a great power um, that's released in a corporate gathering. And so um, tonight, um, as we pray, the first thing we wanna pray for um, um, is for the repentance of the people and for uh, people to return to God. And I'm gonna ask Pastor Margot, she'll just 
lead us in that segment. Pastor Margo. Good evening, everyone. So good to see each and every one of you here tonight. And uh, we're gonna just get into prayer. It's so, in so important that uh, we uh, do repent and stay in alignment with the word of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we honor you. We praise you. We lift you up, oh God. You are King of kings and you are Lord of lords. Father, you alone are worthy to be praised. You are righteous, God. You are holy, oh God. And so we, oh God, are commanded to come to you with clean hearts and clean hands. And yes. so, Father, we ask that you forgive us of our sins. Forgive us for iniquity, oh God. Yes. Forgive us, Lord God, for that which we know of and that which we are not even aware of. Oh, Father God, we want to be right with you. We want to uh, uh, do that which pleases yes, you. Yes, Lord Father. Jesus, your word says our righteousness are as filthy rags. And so, Father, we humble ourselves and ask that you open our eyes to see where we have gone wrong. Open our ears to hear, oh God, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And give us the capacity to obey your word, oh God. Yes, Father. We want to obey you, Lord, because obedience brings the blessing. So, Father, may we be quick to obey. Father, may we look in your word and see, yeah. oh God, as we're looking in a mirror, see where we are wrong, see where we've sinned, oh God, and ask your forgiveness, oh yes. God. David said, create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within yeah. me. Yeah. Cast me not away from thy presence, oh Lord. Yes, Take Lord. not thine Holy Spirit from me. Yes, Father. God, we don't want to be cast away. Oh, God, we don't want to be found with iniquity in our hearts. Yes, Lord. We want to live our lives in alignment with your divine purpose, your divine law, your principles and precepts, oh, God. We want to serve you in spirit and in truth, oh God. We don't want to live lives as hypocrites. We want to live our lives as an open book toward you, oh God. Yes. We want you to, Lord, your word says that your eyes go about the earth, Lord God. You see everything. You see us in the darkness. You see us, Lord God, wherever we are and whatever we're doing, because you are all mighty God, all powerful God, all knowing, ever present. You are God. And so, Father, forgive us of our sins. Make us righteous before you, God. We stand behind the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, because we are not good enough. We, we don't deserve the gift of eternal life, but because of the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ, who is the righteous one, we know that your grace and your favor and your mercy, oh God, will bring us through. So, Father, we thank you for your love and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for washing us and making us white as snow. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Now let's just give God some praise and come into agreement with that prayer. We are believing that uh, the nation, the people will truly repent and return to God. And we, we just give God praise for what he is about to do. I'm gonna ask Abigail, hey, Abigail, we're going to ask you to pray, uh, Abigail, for people to seek the Lord and to be saved. 
to come into the kingdom of God. Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Good night. Good night, Miss Abigail. How are you? So pray for people to seek God. Yeah, pray, pray for and people to seek else? God and to be saved and to come into the kingdom of God. All right? Okay. okay. Amen. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight giving you thanks and praises for yet another day, Father. Thank you for <clears throat> gathering us here together, Father, in your name, so that we can once again bring before our request to you, Father. And Lord, we pray for the non-believers right now. We ask that you help us to be vessels, Lord. We surrender our lives to you so that we can be vessels to bring more people into the kingdom, Father. And Lord, we ask that you continue to use us and shine your light through us so that people can notice us and attract to us so that we can be able to share your word, Father, and bring more people into your kingdom. Lord, we pray for those lost souls that seem like they can't find their way out, Lord. We ask that you touch them and lead them and guide them on the right path, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even us, Father, if we go astray, Father, we ask that you don't let us get far, Lord. Pull us back in, Lord, so that we can get back on track, Lord. And Lord, we just ask that you forgive us for our sins, firstly, Lord. Cleanse our hearts, our minds, and our soul. Even the sins that we did, even for the sins that we know and the sins that we don't know, Father. And Lord, we just ask that you continue to use us, Lord, and continue to show us the purposes and plans that you have for our lives, Father. Help us to continue to go stronger in you so that we can be a witness to others and bring more people into your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Come on, let's just give God praise for souls being saved and coming into the kingdom. Praise for God Lord. to cause believers to surrender um to him and to his way and to his will uh let's just give god praise we just bless the lord uh hallelujah hallelujah pastor margo i'm going to ask you to come again now i want you to pray specifically uh for the the new administration of the government praying specifically for uh prime minister and the cabinet ministers amen Praise the Lord. Father, your word tells us that we must pray for kings, oh God, so that we may live peaceable lives. And Father, as this new administration has been uh, put into their various departments, Lord God, we pray a blessing upon them. Lord, we know that uh, it is uh, generally that each and every one comes in with a good heart. God, they've come in to do good and not evil. But Lord, uh, we pray that you'd make them strong and courageous. Yes. God, you would give them the strength to even resist the temptation that comes with power. Oh God, the temptation that comes, oh God, for corruption. The temptation that comes Father God, to do uh, that which may not, uh, oh God, be right or pleasing in your sight, that which may harm instead of do good. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for this administration. We pray for the Prime Minister, uh, uh, the Honorable Brave Davis. We pray for him and his cabinet ministers and for every member of parliament. God, give them a godly conscience cause them lord god uh, to pray that their steps will be ordered by you father we pray that they would uh, seek wisdom knowledge and understanding we pray lord god that they would determine in their heart to do that which is right and pleasing in your sight we pray lord god that they will seek uh, to, to, to bring justice in this land, in the courthouses, Lord God. Uh, we pray that they will seek to bring uh, um, um, equality, Lord God, that they will seek to increase the economic condition, Lord God, that they'll seek to uh, restore all that was lost 
in this land. Father, we pray that they would uh, 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 be accountable to each other to do that which is right. And we pray that they would also seek the counsel of godly men and women, oh God, so that this next five years will be different from any other term that a government may have served. Oh God, we have prayed for men and women to be uh, uh, voted in who have uh, a, a godly mission. And so Father, we pray that they will hold to the task of doing that which is right. We pray, Lord God, that they would seek your face. Oh God, that they would humble themselves that they would turn from their wicked ways, oh God, and that they will, we will all hear from heaven. Yes. Oh God, our land needs healing. And God, we pray that the government, the administration in this term will be used by your hand, oh God. They'll be used to do good and not evil. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, turn around the Bahamas, transform the lives of Bahamians throughout the length and breadth of this nation. Yeah. God, let the poor raise up to the middle class and let the middle class raise up to those who are healthy and wealthy. Oh God, we pray that, yeah. that the government will also get a handle on the uh, medical situation in this country, oh God, the health care system, that that they will have a strategy from heaven, oh God, to eradicate the spread of COVID, Lord God, to, to find a way, Lord God, so that Bahamians will become more healthy, Lord God, and will not have to turn uh, to, 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 um, um, uh, 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 oh God, mm. solutions that are not safe in the name of Jesus. We pray that this administration will find solutions for educational problems. We pray that they'll find solutions, Lord God, as they seek your face for the social chaos in this nation, Father God. We pray, Father God, that every situation, even the debt, the financial debt, Lord God, that is a major burden in this country. God, that you give them witty ideas and that in this administration, that the men and women of God will collaborate and that they'll do great exploits as they seek your face, oh God, and cause this nation to be transformed. Cause this nation to bring you honor and glory. Father, we pray that every law, every wicked intention uh, to come against the church, Lord God, uh, will be reversed, Lord God, in this administration, Father God, and that the church will be freed up so that the people may worship you again in the house of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you for what you're going to do, Lord. We worship you and we thank you and we praise you, Lord. For with you, nothing is impossible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Um, let's just give God praise for what he's going to do. Um, as we have prayed for the new administration. Uh, one of the things I want to say is that so many, many people have been praying for um, our nation and in particularly praying for um, this election. And so um, I've never seen the level of prayer that has been um, I'm going up to God and what I've seen in the last year in particularly. Um, there is a movement of prayer that's across the whole country. And so um, we have to believe that when we pray and when we pray according to the will of God, that it God will manifest. 
And, and we have to believe that even with the outcome of the election, that God has influenced the election. And so now we have to pray continually for this administration, that God would direct them, that God would speak to them, that God would just uh, uh, move uh, upon their lives. And, and so um, let's continue to pray for the leaders in the country. Um, in this next segment, we want to pray for the members of parliament for Grand Bahama. And um, Sherelle, are you there? I, I see I see Lauren, but that's that's Sherelle, I think. <laughs> yes. I have it there from our classes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, I, I, I know that's probably how you look when you were much younger. But uh, <laughs> Sherelle, I'm going to ask you to pray specifically for our members of parliament for Grand Bahama. Um, I, I, if, if you, I, I'm going to just say their names um, and we want to pray for them. Um, Grand Bahama needs a major uh, move of God to take place, uh, a major transformation, and uh, God uses individuals. We pray God raises up the individuals. In this case, we pray that God will use our members of parliament in a significant way. And so um, we have um, Obi Wilshkom, um, Aram Lewis, Ginger Moxie, Michael Pintard, and Quasi Thompson. And the five constituencies, of course, Obi Wilshkom is West Grand Bahama, Aram Lewis is Central Grand Bahama, Ginger Moxie is Pine Ridge, Michael Pintard is Marco City, and Quasi Thompson is East Grand Bahama. So uh, Sherelle, I'm gonna ask you, would you pray for the members of parliament for Grand Bahama? And, oh, sorry, and let me, uh, I, I gotta cor correct myself. It's West Grand Bahama and Bimini for Obi Wilshkom. So we have to remember that Bimini is included with the west part of the island. So Sherelle, could you lead that prayer for us? Pray for the members of parliament for Grand Bahama and Bimini. Sure. You want me to start now? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, so Heavenly Father, God, we just give you honor, glory, and praise. Yes, Father. We thank you for this opportunity to come together there, God, in one accord, God. One mind, one spirit, one heart, God, before your holy throne, God. Yes. And asking for your grace, your mercy, your leading direction, their God, upon the members of Parliament for Grand Bahama, their God. Yes. God, we stretch our hands down to the east and west right now, north and south, God. We cover this island right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, yes. And we pray right now, Father God, that you would speak to the members of parliament there, God. Give them the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding, God, to know how to represent their constituencies there, God. Yes. We pray, God, that they would, that you would give them insight and information there, God, on how to assist those in their constituency, those who are in need there, God. We pray, God, that those needs will be met. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We pray right now, God, that they will be men and women of integrity. Yes. Their God, that they will have a passion, their God, to serve. Yes. That they walk in humility, their God. Yes. That they rely on you and not on themselves, their God, or not in, in any political party or leader, God, that they would seek you yes. in everything, their God. We pray right now, God, that you would supply every need, God, that is, that is uh, required to operate these constituencies their God, whether it's financial need, whether it's advice, legal advice their God, whether it's support God, we pray God that you would supply the needs their God, that you would open doors of opportunities their God for those persons in each constituency their God. Yes, Lord. We come against any malice or any form of evil. Yes. We pray God that the enemy will not have his way, that it will not, there will not be any bias or um, 
any sort of manipulation that will be taking place, God. We pray, God, that truth and honesty will reign. Yes. Yeah, God, that they would serve, whether the persons are PLP, FNM, independent, their God, that they would Amen. see them as yes. your people, their God, that they will not discriminate their God based yes. on political affiliations, their God, that they would just operate, God, to your honor and to your glory. Yes, yes. God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, God, for all that you've done there, God. We, at the end of the day, we put our trust in you. You are our true source. Yes. Yes, so Lord. we're asking you, God, to lead, to direct them there, God, to show them things that, God, that, that that's on your heart that needs to be done in these constituencies there, God. Repairs there, God. Things yes. that are for single moms, God. Whatever the need is, God, you know it, God. And we pray, God, that you would bring those things to light. That yes. they will resolve their God, not in a long time, but in a timely manner, their God, that they will be resolved in this time that you would want them yes. to be resolved, their God. Mm -hmm. And thank we just you, thank you, God, for a peaceful election, their God. We pray yes, that it continues mm -hmm. to be peaceful, that we continue to work together, their God, for a common goal, despite yes, our um, choices, their God. And we pray right now, God, even for those who may not have voted, God, that you would. This pull up, I guess, God, that you would give them a passion, desire to see uh, better for the country, their God, in their way, God. Mm -hmm. Some persons yeah. may have been discouraged and may not want to participate, God, but I pray right now, God, dear God, that you would stir up a passion in them to make a difference in their community, in their constituency, mm -hmm. yeah. in the job area, in their families, their God, in their yes. churches right now. Yes, in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I don't want to be so long. <laughs> so I could go on and on. <laughs> but I just, Listen, that was powerful. <laughs> you could keep going. That was good. Um, mm -hmm. um, I, I, let's just give God praise for what he's going to do in Grand Bahama. Thank and, you. and we have to continually make that a part of yeah. our prayer. We got to pray for these constituencies, yes. pray for these members of parliament. Yes. And, yes. And so, Father, we just give you thanks and we give you praise. Hallelujah. And, and um, I got to say this too, um, um, you know, when you're praying specifically for what's going on uh, within your island and your country, it's so good to stay informed. You need to stay informed. Um, I like the fact uh, how uh, Sherelle prayed. Uh, she prayed from a, a position where she was informed. She knew what, what was going on and she knew uh, what needed to be prayed for. And so um, um, that's how we, you want to pray, especially if you're praying for things in, on this island and this country. Um, so, so news is important. I mean, good news, when I say that, news that can help you to be more informed. It's called informed intercession. Um, so, so I know what's happening. And so I pray according to what I know is going on. So, um, uh, so right now, what we want to do, we want to come into agreement I'm going to be praying specifically for a number of people who need the healing power of God to manifest in their body. Now, I, I, we, we have been rejoicing over the fact that over the last um, several weeks, couple of months, we have been praying specifically for certain people, and we have had wonderful praise reports, people who have been in the hospital, um, uh, on on oxygen, on ventilators, and and now they're 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 out of the hospital. God has touched them. God has healed them, and we we want to continue to pray. Um, and please, uh, if you know of anyone that has contracted the virus, um, let us know so we can include that person in our prayers because we want to pray specifically for individuals. And we have seen uh, the power of God truly manifest. We've seen healing. We've seen people who have been delivered. Um, of course, you know, we've been talking about Elder Eugene Thompson. Um, I was there when she was taken uh, into the uh, ambulance and put on the, uh, the air ambulance at the airport and um, she was she was breathing heavily because of COVID. She had COVID pneumonia, and um, now uh, through the through prayer, the power of God, she is in Nassau with her youngest daughter, 
walking around and giving God praise. Amen. So, so, so God is a, is a mighty God. And um, so we need to pray specifically for individuals tonight. And I want you to, um, uh, when we call out their name, I want you to come into agreement. Um, even if you want to write these names down and then continue to pray for them, this would be fantastic. So let's go before the Lord, come into agreement that so, so that as we agree, we're gonna release the healing power of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord God, we just give you thanks and praise that we can come before you once again. And Lord, we are coming into agreement, releasing, oh God, through the name of Jesus Christ and by faith, releasing your healing power into the lives of your, your people and those who need a healing touch from you. So Father God, we bring before you Pastor Rudy Roberts, who is in Orlando at um, Advent Health. We pray, Father, that the power of the Most High God would touch him in that hospital room. Lord, we pray for his lungs to be completely uh, healed and made whole. We pray, Father, that you will heal his body completely of all of that coronavirus and that strength would return to him. Father, we thank you that, Lord, the last report that we have is that he began eating after not eating for two weeks. And so, Lord, we see that your healing power is already manifesting in his life. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, that he is healed and made whole in Jesus' name. We pray for Antoinette Smith, Father. We pray right now, Lord, that your power would touch um, Antoinette's body right now, Lord. We pray for her lungs, oh God. We pray that God, that as she is now at, on oxygen, we pray, Father, for her lungs. We pray, Father, for her lungs to be healed and made whole and that her body will be um, healed completely of the virus and that, Lord, that you would cause her to rise up, oh God, in strength and be completely restored in Jesus' name. We also remember Pastor Rudy's wife, Edith Roberts' father, as she is um, at home, oh God, being treated, and Father recovering from the COVID. We pray that the power of the Most High God would touch her body right now, and that she will be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Father God, we pray for Anna Nesbitt, who is in the hospital. We pray, Lord, that you would touch her body, heal her completely, Father. And Lord, we pray, Father, that she will be completely healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Father God, we bring before you Inspector Damianus, Inspector Damianus, who was airlifted out um, to the United States yesterday. Lord, we pray for his lungs, Father. We pray, God, that you, O oh God, would completely heal his lungs. We pray for that COVID pneumonia to be to come out of his lungs. Um, every, every, every mucus, every type of inflammation, Father. Lord, we pray that his lungs would be made whole and that you would heal his body completely in Jesus' name. Oh, Father God, we bring before you Pastor Daniel Small in Nassau, Pastor Daniel Small. We pray, Father, that your power would completely heal him and make him whole in Jesus' name. We pray and we remember also the sister of our prophetess Rosie um, um, Reckley. Lord, that you would touch her body right now and that, Lord, that you would make her um, whole, oh God, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we continue to pray for uh, um, Deaconess uh, Shan Elliott. Shan Elliott, Father. Lord, we give you praise, Father, that she is now off the respirator. But Lord, she is still in the hospital. We ask, oh God, that you would touch her body and that, Lord, that she will be completely healed and made whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father. We thank you, God, that she will... Um, be completely restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we bring before you uh, Vanessa Clark. Vanessa Clark, Father. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, for what you have done in her life to this point. 
You are truly a mighty God that preserves. But Lord, we stand and we believe that she will be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. And that God, that she will be able to uh, uh, come from Nassau and return to her family. And that Lord, that she uh, will be completely healed and restored in Jesus' name. Father God, we bring before you um, Alfred Knowles. Alfred Knowles, Father. We pray, God, against that spirit of uh, cancer that's upon his body. We command that cancerous cell to dry up and, Lord, to die in the name of Jesus and that for his body to be completely healed and restored in Jesus' name. We pray for Sylvia um, uh, Knowles right now, God, that, Father, that she will be completely healed of the COVID virus and that, Lord, that she will be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, we continue to bring before you Reverend Christopher Neely. Reverend Christopher Neely. Lord, we thank you, oh God, that, that, that your healing power has touched him. But we continue to pray for his complete healing from the COVID right now. Right now, Father, be completely healed in Jesus' name name. Father, we thank you for Elder Sherlin, Lord, who is recovering from the knee operation, God. We, we, we thank you, Father. We pray uh, for uh, that pain to, to go from his body, Lord, completely heal his, his knee, and Lord, the recovery process. Lord, we just thank you that he will be uh, healed and made whole in Jesus' name. And Lord, we bring before you uh, Minister uh, Debbie Hyler, Lord, as she has been diagnosed with um, problems in both knees and requires, oh God, operation in the two knees, we pray, Father, that you will truly um, touch her body, Father. We, we thank you, God, that as she prepares to go into operation, that, Lord, that you will guide the hands of the doctors. We thank you, Father God, for uh, her knees being uh, made whole and completely restored in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, that as she has to deal with this uh, process, that, Lord, that you would help her with her finances. Oh, God, we pray, Father, that she will be on top of her finances, that, Lord, that you would provide for her, that, God, that you would uh, cause everything that needs to be in place so that her and her family can be taken care of uh, during this process of 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 um of of operation and recovery so lord we thank you god that that she will be touched by the power of god and that lord that we will um, um rejoice in the victory of your healing lord we pray for this this whole uh um pandemic across our country lord we pray and we stand and we believe for your healing power to sweep across grand bahama uh, and the entire Bahamas, Father, that your healing power will sweep upon uh, over Nassau. God, we pray for your power to, 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 to go across the archipelago, Lord, and heal those who have been diagnosed who are, or are afflicted with the coronavirus. We pray, Father, for every health facility that has to um, uh, deal and minister, uh, administer, oh God, um, uh, medical services to those who are afflicted with the coronavirus. Lord, we pray for the Rand Memorial Hospital. We pray for the Princess Margaret Hospital. We pray for the Doctors Hospital. We pray for every clinic across, oh God, um, the length and breadth of the Bahamas. We pray, Lord, that you will truly intervene. And we thank you, Father God, that, Lord, that we are going to see your power rescue people from the grips of this deadly virus. And, Lord, we pray that this virus will truly be eradicated out of our nation and that, Lord, it will be noised abroad that the Bahamas is truly a healthy nation. So, Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, O oh God, that, Lord, that we're going to see the healing revival go throughout this land. We pray that believers will begin to rise up and operate in their authority and in their ability to lay hands on the sick so that people can recover. We thank you, Father God, that they will be able to pray and the healing power of God will be released into the lives of people. 
So we praise you, Father, for your healing power, for your healing grace to be released upon the land and that God, that people will turn and look to you. Father God, as we, as we continue to pray, Lord, remember our nation during this critical time. Father, we have a economic crisis in this country. We have um, a social crisis in this country. And yes, we have a health crisis. But Father God, we, we thank you that you are gonna rise in our country and that God, that you, we pray that you would deliver your people from these crises. Lord, in time past, we see where, wherever that um, Israel or your people um, were threatened, oh God, wherever um, there were things that came against the nation, Father, that Lord, we see that you would rise up in power and deliver your people. So Father God, deliver the Bahamas. Deliver the Bahamas, O oh God. Deliver us, O oh God. And Father, we thank you, God, for transforming our country so that people will recognize and know and say, truly, the Lord is in the Bahamas. So Father, we thank you, God, for what you're going to do for our country. And we thank you, God, for what we're going to see with our own eyes um, take place on the island of Grand Bahama. And that, Lord, that we will see, oh God, in the, in the days and weeks and months to come, your power beginning to move in all sectors of society. And, oh God, the transforming power of your spirit beginning to move across, oh God, our island and the archipelago of the Bahamas. So Father God, we thank you, God, for everything that you're gonna do among us, everything that you're gonna do through us. And Lord, we give you the highest praise and glory tonight. Lord God, we thank you for each and every person, oh God, that has joined in with this prayer tonight. We thank you, God, for every intercessor that has come into agreement. And those who will agree, Father, um, through the other uh, mediums, oh God, we, we pray, Father, that, Lord, that you would truly, oh God, have favor upon them. We pronounce a blessing over each and every one of them. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We just give God praise and we just... I uh, just want to thank each and every one of you uh, for coming into agreement with pr in prayer tonight. Every time that believers come together and we come into agreement, and especially when we pray according to the will of God, we have this confidence to know that we shall have what we pray for. So as we leave this prayer meeting tonight, leave it with expectation. We've prayed many things. And what you want to do is begin to look and expect that what we have prayed for will come to pass. Listen, God bless each and every one of you tonight. Um, thank you for uh, uh, coming to prayer. And um, may you have a phenomenal uh, rest of the week. Blessings in Jesus' name. Amen.